Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk about overpasses and roundabouts. Now, straight ahead, this is a three miles overpass. It's a double overpass in Jamaica and it's located at the busiest intersection in Jamaica. This is the intersection of Hagley Park Road and Spanish Town Road. Now, we are on the ground level. This was the original this is original road. The higher road, the one above, that's Hag that Spanish Town Road, that one that goes east west. The, the the one at the top is Hagley Park Road. So if you want you can just continue straight on the overpass. Works great. This was this is the busiest intersection in Jamaica, and this is why this was built here. Now we're going to talk about roundabouts. I think they should stop building roundabouts and build these overpasses. Now, in Miami Bay, Highway 2000 East West Lake, a highway, a four lane highway, merges with the Northern Coastal Highway at a roundabout. Needless to say, there have been many accidents there. And with all the expansion going on on the north coast, I think it's time they build proper interchanges. An interchange like what we just saw, uh, we're going to show you from another angle. Uh, maybe it doesn't have to be a double overpass like this one, but when you come off the highway, the toll road, let's just call it the toll road, which is the highway 2000, you shouldn't be going on to a roundabout you should have an overpass that takes you directly into the other highway. So guys, let me know what you think. Leave your comments in the section below. Now, the Northern Coastal Highway is going to be upgraded to four lanes. And it's still going to go to, it's going to meet the highway, at the other highway at Miami Bay. So it is essential now that a proper overpass be built. And then they're going to expand the toll road to Trelawney. So you're going to have a major interchange right there by Miami Bay. So the roundabout is just not going to cut it. And I think they should stop building roundabouts and use these overpasses. Now there's another highway being built on the south coast which is Highway 2000 East West Lake, also known as the PJ Patterson Highway. Now, it's going to go to Hodges in St. Elizabeth. And then from Hodges, that highway is going to split into two. You're going to have one section going to Montego Bay, and you're going to have another section going to Negril. So they need a proper interchange there. And as a matter of fact, I think that interchange might be the largest interchange in Jamaica. Now, the one we showed you at the beginning of the video is the busiest interchange, without a doubt. But the one in St. Elizabeth is probably going to be the largest because it is going to basically connect you to the entire island. Negril, Montego Bay, Kingston. I don't think any other interchange in Jamaica would be that important. So I'm thinking they need to build an interchange like that. No, I'm not sure if it's the cost, why they don't build them. I'm not sure, but it can be done. China Harbor Engineering Company built this, built this interchange, a double overpass. We are on Hagley Park Road now, so this is the top of the interchange, a higher lane. And it works perfectly. There is no more traffic congestion here. Nice, nicely done. Job well done by China Hub Engineering Company. And these, well, the one in Hodges probably is going to need to be a double overpass. But the others can be just overpasses. No, a very nice highway was built in 
St. Thomas, from Harborview to St. Thomas. And I was really surprised to see that they built a roundabout on the highway. A roundabout. Now, we did a video about it, and a lot of people commented that it's not uncommon to see a roundabout on a highway. So, well, I guess we'll work with it, but an overpass could have worked by Bull Bay as well, where they have the Bull Bay sign now. We're going to um, give you video footage. Well, we have videos up of all of these areas that we're talking about. But we'll put them together and show you everything in one. All right, guys, let us know what you think. Do you think they should stop build using these roundabouts and start building overpasses? And especially at Miami Bay, that the road, the Northern Coastal Highway, has to be expanded because there's so much traffic on the highway on the road now. The Northern Coastal Highway is the one that merges at the roundabout with the other highway, the toll road. There is so much traffic on that road that an overpass would work perfectly. Perfectly. As a matter of fact, if they could build an overpass for Draxler, well, that would be great. Too. But I guess the highway will suffice for that. So the same thing is going to happen in Hodges. The traffic is going to back up on the road because... There is so much expansion going on in Jamaica that roads that didn't have traffic, for instance, in 2006 when a Northern Coastal Highway was built, it could easily accommodate all the traffic on the road, easily. But in 2023, with all the expansion going on in Miami Bay, Draxall, the entire North Coast, the road cannot manage the traffic that's on it. Between the, the a new road has to be built that can accommodate thirty to 50,000 cars a day. A day. That's how busy the place is. So, guys, let me know what you think. I think they should stop building these roundabouts and build proper overpasses. All right, guys. Leave your comments in the section below. Have a good day.